Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to episode one of what might be an ongoing series on the channel called What Is. Today we're going to be starting off with What Is Lawbreakers. Lawbreakers is an arena shooter published by Nexon and developed by Boss Key Studios. Boss Key was founded by Cliffy B, who you might be familiar with as the guy that more or less invented or was lead developer on Gears of War, and before that he worked on Unreal. So he's a very popular person in the game development community. Lawbreakers is planned to be free to play, but with cosmetic microtransactions. And as far as I'm aware, you get all the characters and maps and stuff, but all those microtransactions for cosmetics are going to be there. I've been playing it on and off since I got a super early alpha for youtubers almost like a year ago and i'm not gonna lie to you guys i absolutely hated that alpha so very very much i'm pretty sure i even deleted my stream of it because i had such a bad time however i've played it at a couple events including gamescom and most recently at pax and the game has improved tremendously since then if you want the short version of what is lawbreakers i'm gonna say it's overwatch plus unreal it's somewhere in between the two as if overwatch and unreal had a baby but that's not fun. Let's take a look at the long version. It's a bouncy, futuristic arena shooter that pits the law, or police, versus breakers, or criminals. So you've kind of got this law and criminal dynamic going on. It's class-based, so each character has wildly varying amounts of health, armor, resistances, movement abilities, passive grenades, uh, ultimates, a variety of things like that. Some of the characters are incredibly bouncy and essentially fly around the map. Typically those have much less health, and others are much heavier and ground-based, typically typically your tanks. All of the characters have a movement ability that works with the shift key. There's an E ability, which is a grenade almost all of the time. Well, I think one or two don't have grenades. And an ultimate that fits the character just kind of uh, as it, as is needed. And of course, this is going to end up feeling a lot like Overwatch, since most Overwatch characters have a shift and E ability. Some of the characters have uh, primary and secondary weapons, each with different altering fire modes. And the game ultimately does feel a bit like Overwatch. I know the developers hate to hear that. And it, it feels, I feel a little bit bad saying it, since I know this game has been out and semi-public and in development since before Overwatch was playable, so it's not like they copied the ideas from the game, nor is it like Overwatch, which is the most popular one right now, invented the idea of arena shooters with a few abilities. We've had those for ages and ages and ages, most recently Team Fortress 2 being very popular, and yes, there are ability overlaps between Lawbreakers and other arena shooters out in Titanfall and Call of Duty and stuff. There's scanning grenades, there's blinking around like Tracer, there's flying, ground pounding, a variety of things like that that you may be familiar with. They're trying very hard to make it unique though, and that's difficult in the first person shooter space because you can only come up with so many unique ideas inside the first person shooter area. Like there's only so many ways you can aim and shoot and kill and move your characters around, but Lawbreakers did have two major unique ideas that they're really using as the advertising push for this game. Number one is that there are low gravity zones in the map that essentially allow you to fly. They're not zero gravity, but they're like 10% or 5% gravity. You can see them with the little wavy lines because I guess the air is moving around differently. And other areas will be more or less boots on the ground with no uh, addition, with no lower gravity, uh, minus the fact that some characters have uh, advanced movement abilities. Different characters excel differently in these areas. Some characters perform like monsters on boots in the ground, but kind of suck when it's flying around. Some characters always fly, but are way too weak to survive being on the ground. And and sometimes the gravity can be altered by objectives. Capture a flag, a battery, a point in their version of domination, and it gives you a temporary boost of zero gravity, just kind of expelling around the objective, so you can play around that too. And I think it's a fun mechanic. It gives people that enjoy boots on the ground and people that like bounce houses uh, choices in their play style, and it works together more smoothly than you would think because there's very clear transitions between the areas. The other unique idea that Lawbreakers has going on is that you can press the control key on PC anyway to shoot behind you. It's a 100% blind fire over the shoulder, in many cases like put a rocket launcher behind you and shoot, just shoot kind of spamming. It's, it's crazy, you, you can't see what you're aiming at, and you have to, if you want to even guess where the enemy is, you have to aim 100% inverted since it's over the shoulder. Some guns are powerful enough to actually push you forward and help you move faster, run away from enemies faster, or in low gravity, you can just push yourself further in the air. I'm not particularly good at this, but I believe the idea is imagine you're running down a long ho call, uh, hallway and you've got enemies chasing you. You can sprint, and while you're sprinting, you can shoot behind you and move forward at the same time time. It's just kind of a fun thing. You're very rarely going to kill people with it. I'm not going to say that it's particularly useful or amazing, but it definitely is fun, and sometimes you can BM some kids by, you know, blowing them up with rockets over your shoulder or something, and it is fun, 
and unique. As a matter of fact, at PAX, I did manage to get an over-the-shoulder shotgun kill on one of the tankier characters because somebody came up to try and assassinate me from behind, so sucks for them. Some of the other key differences with Overwatch, which I compare to a lot, because I play a lot and it's probably the game's main competitor, is this one's free to play, and it's much more mature. There's lots of cussing, lots of gore, violence, mature themes, flipping people off, that sort of thing. Personally, I don't care how quote, mature a game is, but a lot of people really get turned off by cartoony things and too much uh, niceness, which the majority of arena shooters are all very happy and nice now, thanks to the Overwatch influence. So if you're sick of this cartoony, bouncy, bright, happy future and you want to play something a little more mature, this will probably be up your alley. Right now, I feel like Lawbreakers is trying very hard to differentiate itself from its competitors, of which there are many, and I think they're overall doing a good job. Of all the games in this genre, they're probably doing the best at differentiating themselves, and every time I play the game, they've managed to make it more of its own game. So overall, I'm very happy with it. I don't know how much I'm going to play it in the future, but I'm definitely playing the beta right now. However, there are a few flaws that I would like to address, because no game is perfect, mind you. There seems to be a very limited consideration in matchmaking for skill, so lot can get very badly lopsided. I'm talking like like the other team will have 120 kills and my team will have like four combined between the six of us. You can get extremely badly lopsided and stuck in your spawn. The hit scan characters dominate if the player has good aim. There's a guy who's basically a Call of Duty like guy, a guy who's a sniper but he uses a pistol, and a very spammy uh, flying lady with a minigun that I like to play. All combined, if they all have good skill, they can really, really punish you with these hit scan characters because they don't have to aim ahead or lead for projectiles. And they can really chew through anything very fast and it can get annoying. I feel like that definitely needs a balancing patch. Playing against three or four hit scans on the other team is pretty much AIDS. And not all grenades are equally useful. Some of the grenades are really tactical, really damaging, and some of them I just don't even bother with because they're not particularly helpful to me. Guys, that's all for this video on what is Lawbreakers. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.